So I am often asked where I got the name Kabira. And I have to admit, sometimes I like to keep this a secret, but I'll tell you. So when I was 18, um, actually 17, I was anorexic. And I had this idea in my head that if I went to go live in uh, some place in Africa, <laughs> And if I was uh, weight enough to actually show up in that that some country on that continent, um, that that would mean that I was healed from my eating disorder. So secretly, I didn't tell my parents this. They thought I was going to go be a doctor. Um, I enrolled in Hausa classes for this country named Niger in West Africa. I knew nothing about it, and I don't know if you've taken. Um, uh, language classes before but usually you get to pick your own name while you're learning so the name I picked was Chindo which means small disfigured a runt um, apparently it's for like the babies that don't really make it um, which you know I was a premature baby and I almost didn't make it as well I was born two months early so you know there, there was a little bit of a resonance um, but I was also pretty puny you know I weighed like 85 pounds so I was, I was a small one um, and my, my teacher thought it was so funny that I picked, like that is not the name that you would choose for yourself. And he would go back to Niger and tell all of his friends like, yeah, this girl calls herself Chindo. And like, I was the joke of Niger for like a year. So when I finally showed up to Niger, um, the, the imams said, the priests said, okay, we're gonna do a baptism for you. We're gonna name you. We're gonna rename you while you're here in our country. So they named me Kabira. And I just figured like, you know, they probably were like, you know, what's the closest name to Catherine? You know, Kabira is the closest thing to Catherine. And I liked it, you know, all my friends called me Kabira. My friends back home started calling me Kabira. And a few months in, I was uh, in the desert in, in Agadez. Um, we were in the Sahara. And I was, I met this priest and I remember like we both had these walking sticks and we were walking around and it was just stunning, like this white sand everywhere. And, and he said, you know what, why did your parents name you Kabira? And I said, oh, you know that, my parents did not name me that. Um, it was a name given to me by these priests. They like studied my energy, they looked at my photos and you know, talked to me and, and decided like that was my name. And he said, well, you know, that's not really a name that we just kind of toss around. You know, that's, that's, it means that you're great. It means that you're big. It means that you're great in spirit. And I, I remember really taking that in and, and my own discomfort, because in this lifetime, you know, I'd rather not be seen. I'm, I'm very good at playing small, um, that, that I can't hide it. My parents named me after Catherine the Great. Um, and and that I thought, wow, this is a beautiful name to actually have to grow into. Can I really be great in spirit? So, so that's, that's where this name has come from. And I think it really holds me at a certain level of integrity of, can I show up as myself? And, and not only be great for me, but you know, it's a mirror. So when I show up and allow myself to be big and when I really allow myself to own my power, it's not just my power, right? It's like the power, the source, the universe coming through me. That also is a reminder for all of us, like this is what we're here for, you know, to, to show up as ourselves and through that to bring the God, the source through us right here. So that is where my magic name Kabira comes from.